Do you ever get mesmerized by watching a fire, whether it's a fireplace or a campfire? I love fire. I'm Susie. I thought it would look cool to have flames on the nails. It's an easy technique. Let's get started. So I have these long, beautiful, kind of a pointy almond on my nails, and I painted two coats of black, except for just one little nail left for you. So when you paint the black on, you just want a nice, solid black. You could do this with white or even a blue background, but I'm choosing black. put two coats on just to get that really strong color. Okay, now I'm just gonna give it a nuke and it's about 30 seconds for the ugly duckling to nuke. Okay, a nice fresh two coats of black. Now I will get a little, you know, the little cotton pads, little makeup pads, and I will spray some alcohol on it just to get it ready for my brush, okay? So of course I was burning a fire in the fireplace and it's so gold, but we exaggerate those colors with red and golden orange. We're gonna put red and orange and yellow in this. So I'm gonna start with a red and you know how it kinda, kinda, kinda comes up like that. I'm gonna sort of simulate that a bit on the nail and then we're gonna play with it more with a brush. So we're gonna come in and bring it up and then bring it down. We go with the orange and we're going to bring it in, in that V section and down a bit and wipe it on that little cotton pad right there to get rid of the two colors that might have joined. If you need a little bit more, I think I'm going to do a bit more. Just wipe it on there so you don't transfer it back into your bottle. And then we're going to put a little bit of yellow. Then we're going to get this tiny little brush. This brush is from the Selena Ryden collection. It's a stripey brush and I like it because it's got this little point on it and we're going to bring the flames up together so we could maybe turn it this way just because it's I'm sort of pulling it upward and we want to go right into the yellow. Pull it all the way up through the red. Pull it all the way up. Go right through the yellow the orange and all the way up. See that? Wow, that's cool. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I'm digging that. You are, eh? Uh-huh. Something you could put on a car, you know. I was going to say, so <laughs> you'll think of it as like the 70s when we put flames on the cars. Well, I didn't. I was just a kid. But that's what they kind of did. It's kind of that 70s look, that retro look, doesn't it? Yeah, it does, actually. I'm going to just put a little bit of, I feel like I need, and I could be wrong, I feel like I need a little extra orange up in there. Cool, eh? I'm just gonna fill it out to the side. I think I better leave it alone, right? Well, it's awfully nice. I don't yeah. know if you can make Let's it. Let's just leave better. it. I'll mess it up. But I'm gonna do it to all of them, I think. Just different kinds of flames. Like say, let's take the pinky and I'll just put a little bit of red. And I'm gonna put predominantly orange, I think. a little bit of yellow. Just love all those colors. Yeah, it's really pretty, isn't it? And we're just going to pull a 
That's kind of pretty. That would be good just like that. My problem is I tend to get a little symmetrical. So I kind of have to think not so symmetrical. Symmetrical meaning I'm trying to make it even. I got to think out of the box on that. That's a bit of my problem when it comes to nail art. Let's see if I can get better as we go. Let's, let's try a little more orange and less red. Let's do predominant orange. And some more yellow and combine those colors a bit more. And just a little bit of red. How's that? Okay, now I'll pull these bad boys together. It's very different, isn't it? Let's try a little bit of a fatter brush. Maybe a fatter brush will give us more pull. You know what I'm trying to say? You can try it. Every design is so different because it's so incredibly little what you're working with. It's such a tiny, tiny little area and a few more bristles to a brush can make all the difference in a good way or a bad way. You don't know sometimes until you try it. Your gel polish is a little bit different. Every paint is a little bit different. I haven't thrown anything for a while, have I? So this brush is called the Swirly in the same collection, and it's got a few more bristles on it. Can you see that? And it might just pull a little bit more for me. I think that's better. Really it on thick there, haven't you? Yeah. That's so it'll move around. If you don't lay it on thick, you got nothing to move. Right. And maybe I'll take the little brush and do a couple of wispies. I like the wispies. Okay. It's good to have another opinion. My voice is cutting out. From talking at your class, yeah. Your class, yeah. That's pretty. Now I'm just gonna nuke this because I want to freeze those colors. Woo! Look at underneath Whoa. there. Oh, that's so cool. That is awesome. How do I walk around looking like that all the time? You just gotta get a battery-powered lamp and have it shining on there all the time, or just hang out at a nightclub. That would be or awesome. Think about the club. Hang out a nightclub. Oh, I'm right. gonna hang out a nightclub. Hmm. Well. <laughs> this is my nightclub, my friend. Look at this. I got lights. That looks like lava. Oh, that's so cool. Wow. We gotta make it look like that, like always. Yeah. I guess if it was neon. Now it looks boring. It was spectacular a minute ago. A minute ago I loved it. Yeah. Until I put the light on it. Okay, let me finish up. It still is pretty, it's just not as pretty. Now we got a taste of the other one, we just like it better. But I do like the more orange, but I'm gonna bring the red down into it a bit more. You just learn as you go what you might like, what might look a bit better, right? It's for your own tastes. Could throw white in there too. I just chose the it was gonna keep it really warm. Ooh, that's pretty even just as it is, but it's a little too thick, so I need to spread it out a little. So I am gonna try the bigger brush. I'm gonna take it right from the bottom up. bigger bristled one. Let me just pull in some little wispies. The, the red chunk here looks stupid. 
so I've got to pull it, make it look a little bit more pointy. Wowzers. Those are. That's pretty. Pardon the pun, very hot. Oh, brother. <laughs> yeah. I didn't okay. plan for that one. It just. Just came out. Yeah. Just couldn't help yourself. My apologies. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> that's it. That's quite appropriate. Gosh, I love it with the lamp on. Yeah, the I wall. know. I just want to walk around holding that. Mm. Hi, I'm Sue and I paint nails. Yeah. yeah. Just for that. <laughs> So cool. <sighs> okay. Sometimes I like to experiment with a thumb. So that's what I'm gonna do because I want to sort of turn this one into matte. Now that I've seen it with this glorious shine, I don't know if I'm gonna like it. So let's just try it, see if I like it. nuke him and the reason why I'm testing oh <laughs> look at that cameraman Ooh, wow I'm just gonna have to have a blue light just follow me around everywhere when I'm wearing this design I'll carry it yeah that's good so the reason why I'm doing the thumb is because I'm gonna do a matte finish on it I was thinking of doing it on all of them but now I'm getting scared whether I should do the matte or not so we're gonna try it on the thumb and we'll do the shining on the other one see if we like it okay so matte, I've got the Ugly Duckling matte. It's a really great matte top coat, I like this one. But I'm just gonna do it on the thumb because I wanna see what it looks like. Now this matte, for this company, you only gotta put one coat of matte on it and then nuke it. And then you just take off the surface layer and it reveals a beautiful matte and it lasts quite some time. I don't get paid to say that. I bought these products and I'm just telling you that I really like it and it's really good. Mattes used to kind of return shiny after you put them on a client and a week later they come back and say, my mat's all shiny. <laughs> this matte doesn't do that. Now company's gotten a lot better and they don't do that so much anymore, but that used to be a big problem literally just like a year ago. But these guys have really nailed it. Let's take it off and then we can decide together if we like it shiny or matte. It's beautiful shiny, I will add. Oh, it's cool matte too. Yeah, that matte does look really nice. Although I think I prefer shiny. You know what? I like the matte. I'll leave one shiny for cameraman, but I'm gonna do the rest matte. I actually quite like it. And you know what, if it turns out that I really don't like it after I do it, I can always shine it back up again. I don't use matte very often, so I'm kind of itching to try it. And I'm surprised that I actually do like it. When matte first came out, it came out years ago. A lot of this stuff comes out years ago. I'm talking long time ago, like 30. But it never really caught on. And maybe our tastes have changed. 
and now we like it, or we're using it a different way, and now we seem to like it. So it's taken me a while to come around to it. Oh, I forgot to top coat cameramans. <laughs> okay, I'll finish doing that, and then we'll check out the reveal shots. I chose the traditional orange and red flame, but you could do blues and greens or yellows and pinks. It's really endless, and you can try it with polish too. Thank you for joining me. I'll see you guys in the next video. Hey!